Okay, so here's another one where we have to use exponent properties. In this case, we're multiplying a bunch of things together that have the same base. When that happens, you want to add the exponents. So let's go ahead and combine this into a single exponent. So I have my r. Now I'm going to take 2 plus negative 10 plus 4 plus negative 3. I'm adding all of those together. I'm just adding all the exponents. We're going to combine all this and simplify it. All right, so I'm going to do 2 plus 4 uh, is 6, and then I have an, a negative 13. So negative 13 plus 6, that's going to give you negative 7. Now, the instructions say write your answer with positive exponents. So I don't want to leave my answer in this form. It's a negative exponent. The way that you can write it as a positive is you're going to do this. You're going to put it below the division bar. When you, do the, when you put it below the division bar, uh, then it becomes positive. So anytime you move this uh, up or down across the division bar, it changes the sign. So this would be my final answer. Now I want to do another example. Let's do one with uh, some subtraction going on here. So let's say I have r on top and I have r cubed down below. So this is one where we did some multiplication, but you should also know how to do one where you're dividing it. Now when you're dividing these, then you want to use subtraction. Now, the most common thing mistake that I see people making is if there's no exponent here, they automatically put a zero there. That's not true. That's really a one exponent. So if I want to subtract these, I have the top one minus the bottom one. So that's a one. So I have one minus three. That's r to the negative two. And once again, if I want to write that as a positive exponent, I would write it like this, one over r squared. So you want to make sure you know how to do both these types of problems either where you're uh, multiplication, you're adding, or division, and you're subtracting.